Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPD, and I was just finishing the video. It's kind of sloppy because it's a little crazy around here right now. And uh, let me turn my VTX on, or my transmitter off. Okay, so I was just finishing a video on setting up the new um, one of the JHE MCU uh, 16 by 16 boards. And then right in the middle of the video, I was like, yeah, here's how you do your um, uh, smart audio. And I forgot that the new Betaflight does not give you your uh, channels, right? So you have to put those in yourself. And so then I quickly did it, but I realized that I probably need to do a video on that too. So I'm going to do one very quickly on this, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So um, what I'm going to show you here, and let me, let me just show you what we're working with. So this is what the video was over. Sorry, bear with me a second. There. Okay, let's do this. Let me put me up here because that'll be easier. There. Okay, so um, this was the setup we're doing, right? This is the 16 by 16 board. I showed you guys how to load the firmware and everything on this one just a minute ago, and the TV is still on or the screen's still on. But here's what screwed up. So I forgot that you have to do your uh, your own uh, setup, right, for your um, for your uh... here. Sorry, I'll just explain to you. So for your for your flight control for your VTX, because the the table doesn't come with it anymore as far as your channel table. So I'm going to show you exactly what we did. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and update the firmware again, and I'm going to flash this thing so that it it ends up the way it was when I did this first. So I'm going to say uh, load firmware. I'm going to flash it. And I'm going to wipe basically everything that we've done. Okay, and that way we can see it exactly what we're expecting, all right? Sorry, I mean, I should have done this before, but I didn't even think about it. I completely forgot. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to wait a minute. But well, actually, while that's going, let me look at something here. On our website, here is the... Here's the frequency. Here's the channels right here. Okay, so we are going to start at 5865, and so this is what it would look like: channel one, two, three, and four for uh, A, B, C, D. Right. Okay. So uh, I'll explain to you what we're doing here. So when you log in, right? When I connect to this, I'm gonna apply a custom default. All right. And when I connect, right? Uh, first thing, one thing you're gonna see is. We know that we have to make this board UART2, and we know that this is uh, IRC Tramp protocol, but do you see this right here, okay? And I forgot, I completely didn't even notice this when I did it, that there's no VTX table set correctly, okay? So we're just gonna click Save and Reboot. But here's what this means. <clears throat> this means that if you turn this on right now and you try to set up your VTX right, or your smart audio, you're gonna see a bunch of blanks. There's no channels program. And just to explain to you what that looks like, um, when you go to Video Transmitter, um, there's nothing here. Okay, so what it's gonna tell you is uh, you can configure your values or you can go to this page right here if you click this, and I'm already at this page, but I'm gonna open it again. Uh, I had it open earlier, so let me just go back to here. Okay, so on here, they're gonna give you a table that you can use, okay? And um, you can pick your protocol and just pick what would fit. Now, since we're using the IRC Tramp protocol, uh, we would use the IRC Tramp USA version, so you click that and download it, and this would be the third time I've downloaded this now. Sorry, again, I did the same damn thing. You don't click on it you right click on it and click save link as. Now, this will be the third time, so this is the one I did originally, this is the one I did today, and then I'm gonna do another one again. I'll save it as number two, right? Okay, <clears throat> so here's the deal. If you do just click on it once, you can see the contents of this file, and it's gonna tell you that it's naming your, um, you know, like your frequency one, or channel one, uh, channel two, channel three, channel four, or channel five, and so forth, okay? And you can change these values, actually, and you can save this file and use it. But for right now, we're just gonna import this, all right? So once you download it and save it, uh, I'm already in Betafly right here, then you would say load file from, and you would basically select your file. Now I'm gonna select the one I downloaded today just because, and I'm gonna click open. And it's gonna fill out my table for me, okay? Now you can name this whatever you want. So I'm gonna, I don't care really what matters. So I'm just gonna get my um, uh, keyboard and I'm just gonna type CFPVA. Uh, underscore a uh, and there's my letter okay now here's what you want to do so look at these numbers here and look at what came on the um, uh, screen here so we do 58 65 58 45 25 oh five so just see if it falls in line 45 25 oh five and then you should see you should start seeing more of these right and so uh, as you go to the website and they're gonna be pretty standard so you're gonna have 57 85 56 45 uh, I'm sorry, 5745, 5725. And that should be pretty much in line with what you've got. B is gonna be the same. So we'll just copy and paste. Uh, control C and then control, uh, control V. 
All right, we'll change this to B. Now, once you do this once, you can save this file or you could go and edit it any way you want it. I don't have two screens open right now, but I'm just gonna check and see. Everything here looks about the same. So 5733 through 5866, and if you go back here, it's right. Okay, so now they jumped to E, <clears throat> but I believe, let me check and see here. So we have 5705 through 5945, and let's see what they have. So they don't have 5945 here, so we're gonna fill in some of these. We have 5685, 5665, 5645 and 5885. So let's do 5645 and 5885. So type that in here. Oh, they already have the other ones. 5645, and then we have 5905, uh, and then what is the rest? 5925 and 5945. So just put 5925 and 5945, right? So we're just going to fill in some of the blanks here. And we'll just control V. And just because I'm doing this, just I don't really care. Uh, we'll call it E. <coughs> And then let's see what we've got next. So we've got our um, 5740 through 5880. And I don't know what they put, 5740. So this one's fine. So we're just gonna put control V, F. And then we've got our next one, which is going to be 5658 through 5917. So 5740 is right there. Okay, so hold on a second, because they're running a whole different set. So let me see, 5658, okay, 5880, no, sorry, 3597. so this one's fine right here, all right? And this does not support a sixth band anyway, so it doesn't really matter, so you can just easily just take this off. Okay, all right, so we're not running any band six and we're just gonna click save, okay? And there we go. <clears throat> now you can set your power levels uh, and I don't remember, let me see here real quick. Um, let's go back, look at our power levels. And on this board, we have a 25, a 100 and a 200. So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna say we only have three power levels, 25, 100 and 200, and that's it. So now we've got our We've got everything set the way it's supposed to look. And I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna hit Control V and I'm gonna do an R just because, I don't care. Um, and we're doing five bands, sorry. I, that would have been easier, just do it like that, all right? So now we're set, okay? So this is it, and if you wanna, if you wanna save this to a file so that you have it for future reference, you can just go ahead and save it. I'm gonna save it as, um, let me see, I'm gonna say J-H-E-M-C-U-S-I-F-4, S-I-F-4. Uh, dash, uh, what's today's it? 0326017? Uh, 20. I'm telling you, I'm losing my mind. Save that. So, in the future now, if I want to load from file, I can just tell it, okay, I want to load the one I just made. It's going to automatically populate everything. I'm going to click save. Okay. Now, my VTX is good. So, if you see on my ports here, okay, I'm going to have, uh, it tells you don't disable the MS or uh, the uh, uh, MSP here, but what you're going to see here is my warnings are gone. Everything is configured now. So when I turn this board on, you can watch my screen here, okay? Now when I turn this board on, and it may interfere, that's my concern, is it may interfere with this video, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead. Welcome to OpenTX. Acro mode on. Turn this on here. Okay, and I know that the signal, and oh, whoops, I forgot to do this part, my bad. Uh, let me go to configuration. This is my fault. Uh, we're gonna take this off, we're gonna take that off, and we're gonna take that off. I'm gonna click save. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Here we go. Okay, so when I turn it on, and I go to my, uh, oh, forgot to set my, uh, look, you'll see what I'm doing here. I forgot to set my receiver to the right setting here. So let me go ahead, that's where my quad is spitting out of control. Let me go ahead and click save. There, now everything's gonna work properly. So we can go back now, there, all right. And um, let's click save. All right, so now we can go to our menu screen right here, right? 
And if I go to features and I go to VTXTR right here now, I can see my bands. These are the ones I made, CFPV, blah, blah, blah. And there's my channels that are programmed and there's our power level, max at 200, minimum at 25. So everything that we just did is now set. So I'm gonna go to, um, let me see, we ran three, four, and let me see, oh no, sorry, band. Let's go to E and let's go to channel three and we're gonna click set and click confirm, okay? And if I wanna change it, um, uh, I can do so. I can. You can see I'll change the power, for example. Whoops. Let me click no, and let me go back to power. And I'll just change it to 100, set, yes, and then click back, and then back, and then save and exit. There we go. So we've got it set up now. <clears throat> if I want to go back and check it now, go to my features. And there we go. We have everything set the way we had it, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because it's going to start overheating. But... Sorry, uh, so I did that video and I forgot to show you guys how to put the table in, right? So if you need a link to that table, I'll put it on the website here so you can download it uh, and you'll find it on the JHEMCU page as well as a tutorial page. If you have any questions, please email me uh, using our webpage from now on. This has got a new ticketing system that will create a ticket for you. And as always, please follow us on Facebook and uh, subscribe to our, um, our YouTube channel. And uh, sorry, everything's a little backed up today here, uh, flustered wise, because uh, it's been a little crazy with us being stuck at home and... Uh, having to get some work done. All right. Uh, other than that, guys, God bless. Peace. Uh, spend time with your family and uh, be careful. All right. You never know how much time you have with them. So please make the most of it. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye.